Hey folks, we are answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community, and today, we are going to discuss troubleshooting issues related to SAML attribute mapping. Let's get started. Attribute misconfigurations can result in a number of unexpected behaviors, including scenarios where the Auth0 user profile is missing information or information is in the wrong profile fields. In this example, we are expecting a profile attribute to show up in the Auth0 profile, but it does not appear to be there. We will begin the troubleshooting process by using debug mode for the SAML connection. To enable debug mode, go to the settings page for the SAML connection in the Auth0 dashboard. Scroll down to the debug mode toggle and enable it. Next, attempt to log into your application using the SAML connection. Note that a useful log entry may be produced even if the application rejects the login attempt. Then, on the Auth0 dashboard, go to Monitoring, Logs, and enter type W into the log search. The log event type code W filters for logs of type warning during login. Relevant logs will have the description, Potential Private Information Exposed. Consider disabling debug mode for connection as soon as possible. If there is no type W log, then Auth0 is not receiving the SAML response from the Identity Provider, or IDP. Open a log entry with the appropriate timestamp from your login attempt and look for the details.original profile property. It will be a JSON object with some escaped characters. This object will include the attributes that Auth0 is receiving from the IDP. In this object, if we do not see an expected attribute, we know that the identity provider is not sending it for this user, which may be due to a misconfiguration on the IDP side. If we see the attribute here, but not on the user profile, we know there is an issue with mapping the attribute. To access the mapping settings, go to the SAML connection in the dashboard and then to the Mappings tab. In this example, we are trying to get the user city to appear in their Auth0 profile. To have this mapped correctly, we can first go back to our tenant log that has the full list of attributes being sent to Auth0. We see here that the name of this claim is Office Location City. If we go back to the Mappings tab, we can use this box to add this attribute. On the left side, we will put the attribute name we want to appear on the Auth0 profile. On the right side, we will put the name of the incoming SAML attribute from the IDP, which in this case is Office Location City. After testing another login, we can go back to the user profile to confirm that the attribute was successfully mapped onto their profile. Today, we looked at troubleshooting issues related to SAML attribute mapping. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and join us for more content on community.auth0.com.